I have a very unique luxury handbag collection. I love my bold colors, I love a little bit of print and pattern, and I love my designers that aren't as popular. If you want to see what bags I have in my neutral handbag collection, then please just keep on watching. This portion of the video is in collaboration with Idol. Idol kindly sent me these items to unbox with you guys and I cannot wait to dive in and see what they sent. Inside of the box, you're gonna see it says ready to join the diamond revolution and they have wrapped this box up absolutely beautifully. They have their card inside of here and on this card it says lab grown diamonds, module designs, solid gold, sustainability, craftsmanship, and fair price. We'll go over a little bit more of the details after we unbox these beautiful items inside. They also sent me a handwritten note, which was very, very sweet of them. So inside of here, I'm so excited, you guys. I have not seen any of these items in person yet. Let me untie this and we'll come right back. Okay, so let's see what they sent inside of here. They have this beautiful white box and their packaging is just absolutely stunning. It's almost like opening a luxury, well, these are luxury items, but look how stunning that packaging it is. It says something special from Idol. And then inside of here, we have a beautiful Idol bag. This feels like silk. It's very soft and luxurious feeling. And this one here feels like linen. So they've sent two little cases and let's see what's inside of here. So inside of this first one, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, let's see. So inside of here, you guys, their packaging is just simply not letting down. Look how beautiful it is. It says, can't wait to see it on you. And then inside of here, oh my goodness. Look, I'm gonna do close-ups for you guys, but look how absolutely stunning that is they're so beautiful okay let's get into this little bag right here and see what's inside of here i have absolutely no clue as to what is in here so it looks like they have a little silk hair scrunchie for your hair i've heard that the silk scrunchies do really well for your hair and then they have a little compact mirror i'm not going to i'm not going to share it with you guys you're going to see all my camera equipment but it says idle on there and it feels very very luxurious and then it's just got the beautiful soft silk it's almost like a little bit of a cushioned material on this bag Idol is known for their lab-grown diamonds at an accessible price, but did you know that they also use 100% solid 14 karat gold for all of their pieces? Not only do they use solid, beautiful gold, but they have different options for you. You can choose their normal yellow gold, which I feel like is the most popular option, or you can go with the beautiful rose gold, or my personal favorite, you can go with the white gold. What I find to be the most unique and the most fun about Idol's jewelry is the fact that they are a module brand. You might be wondering, what the heck does that mean? That means that you buy the statement piece or the base piece one time. For example, I have chosen the size medium stud. They also have a small stud or a large stud, and you add on different elements to create your very own look like I've done here. As you guys can see, I have on the Luna earring along with the Lucia earring. Both of these are absolutely stunning and you can pair them just by themselves or you can pair them together like I have done here to create a very unique look and something personal to me. Now the best part about Idol's pieces is the fact that their jewelry is sustainable. I don't know about you, but I have a very busy life. I have six kids that I'm constantly running after. I'm cleaning the house, I am cooking dinner, I'm going to the gym, I'm getting sweaty and I'm hot, and I don't wanna take off my jewelry pieces every time I do that. Luckily, I don't have to. I can even shower with these pieces and they're not gonna oxidize, they're not gonna tarnish, they're not gonna stain, and they're not gonna change color. Idol's classic design are the perfect gift for Mother's Day in my personal opinion. If you haven't purchased anything for your mom or for your wife, definitely check it out because they have beautiful pieces that are classic that are going to be timeless. My favorite part about the idea of purchasing something like this for a loved one is the fact that you can buy the studs this year and then next year you can add on a piece and so on and so forth. Therefore, every single year, all you have to do is buy a different element for them and they get to add to the piece. It's almost like the gift that keeps on giving. 
As you guys can see, I absolutely love the brand. I love the pieces. You saw how excited I was to open these pieces up and I definitely wasn't let down by the quality. I'm gonna have Idol link down below for you guys to check out just in case you wanna see what all they offer. And I wanna quickly say thank you so much to Idol and Idol's team for collaborating with me. This has been a really fun, exciting experience for me. All right, guys, we are gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab a bag next to me and go over it with you guys. I believe I have about nine or 10 bags to share with you, so I'm gonna to try to go through this as fast as possible. So going in no particular order, first we're gonna start out with my Louis Vuitton Mini Dauphine bag. I got this bag back in December, so I've only had it for about four or five months now, and I have been absolutely loving this. I do have a full first impressions video on this bag where I rant and rave about it, but this bag has been the perfect weekend bag for me. I find that it goes with all of my outfits. It's very lightweight, it's very comfortable. It fits the daily essentials, but it's not gonna fit much more than that. And if you are someone who needs a little bit more on a daily basis, then I would say instead of going for the size mini, go for the regular size. Next up is my Valentino Rock Stud. This bag is definitely outdated. It is something that is not very popular anymore. You can find it on the resale market for a steal but I still love this bag. I find that it is the perfect edgy bag for me and for my wardrobe. You guys know I love an edgy bag. It fits all of my daily essentials in here very, very easily. It is very soft, so if you needed to stuff it full, you can. It just makes it a little bit harder to pull the top over and close it. There isn't a lot of cons that I have to say about this bag. The studs do not bother me. They do not hurt me whatsoever. And I just think it's the perfect black bag for me and my personal collection with my little bit of an edgy style. Speaking of edgy, this is my super mini Dionysus. I feel like the Gucci canvas material does have a little bit of edge to it. Hear me out, it's because it has that cool undertone with the little bit of a aged silver hardware. I think it's absolutely stunning. Now my only downfall with this bag is I feel like I should have went for the size mini instead of the super mini. This is more of a walk or a wallet on chain. It fits all of your cards. It will fit your key clay or it will fit a key clay and a card holder, but that's about it. You're not going to get your cell phone in here and you're not going to get any bulky items. Therefore, I feel like I should have went for the mini size instead of the super mini, but I still love this bag. Next up is another Louis Vuitton bag. This is actually the bag that I am currently using. When I first bought this bag, I ordered it online because it was never available in store. I actually thought that these little squares here were gray and I thought these were white. They're not. This is actually a navy blue and this is actually a tan. Just in case you're wondering if you've never seen this bag in person, this is one of my all time favorite bags. I absolutely love it is perfect for the spring and summertime. It fits all of my everyday essentials. I love the fact that it has a, a top handle. The only downfall really is the fact that it doesn't have an adjustable strap and it's got all of this vaquetta everywhere. But other than that, I feel like this bag is absolutely perfect. Next up is my Valentino Roman Stud. When I bought this bag, I was torn between this version and the size mini and the beautiful cool tone pink. If I'm being honest with you guys, although I do love this version and it has grown on me, I wish I would've went with the cool tone pink. I just feel like it would work out better with me and my wardrobe. And I've been hunting for a bag in that same exact pink color ever since. And I just feel like I should've gone with that one instead. This bag fits all of your everyday essentials. It actually fits a lot more than your everyday essentials. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but it's not super heavy. It does not have an adjustable strap, but it is really cool, fun, and edgy. All right, let's switch brands and go to YSL. This is the YSL camera bag. A lot of people own this bag in the leather version, which if you only own a couple bags, I do feel like the leather version is better. The canvas can get stained. This is not a treated canvas, so it is just like a cotton material, but I love the stripes on here. I think that stripes are a very classic design, and I think that you can pair stripes with other patterns very, very easily. I love the fact that it's black and white with a little bit of brushed gold hardware. This bag fits all of your daily essentials and is very lightweight and very comfortable. If you do not own a luxury bag and you are on the market, I highly recommend checking this one out or the YSL or the um, Louis Vuitton Crosette bag that I already shared. 
Wow, we are zooming through these bags. Next up is another Louis Vuitton bag. This is a Speedy B25. This is the newest bag to my luxury handbag collection, and this is my work bag. So I don't really use this bag on the weekend. Every now and then I will, but for the most part, I use this bag for work. It fits all of my work essentials in there plus more. If I need to fit a snack in there, it's gonna fit. If I need to fit my Kindle in there, it's going to fit. It won't fit a laptop though. So if you need a laptop for work, I wouldn't go with this one. But I do feel like this is a great size for work if you are in the market for a work bag. And I think it's really cute on the weekends, but I have other weekend bags that I gravitate towards more than this one. Next up is the bag that I like to call my Instagram bag. This bag is absolutely stunning, but she is not practical at all. I have mine in the suede, which was a huge mistake. She doesn't fit very much and she's very, very heavy. I've only used this bag out three times. All three times I got annoyed with the bag because she was so heavy, but she is stunning for photos. Unfortunately, the resale market on this bag is very, very low, so I'd rather hold on to it and keep it in my collection than sell it for way below retail and not get my money's back worth. But she's stunning, but not practical. I don't recommend her. I only have two more bags to share with you guys. Next up is my Louis Vuitton Vavine PM bag. This is the very first ever luxury bag that I ever purchased and I absolutely love this bag. I don't understand why this bag isn't hyped up more. If it's all of your everyday essentials, she is absolutely stunning. They do have this bag in all leather or they have it where this um, square right here or this pocket rather is in cream or a burgundy. I chose the black because I felt like it's more classic. I originally wanted the cream, but I didn't want it to get dirty. But this bag fits all of your everyday essentials. You can wear it crossbody, short shoulder, or long shoulder. And I just can't say enough good things about it. Last but definitely not least is my YSL Small Lulu. Out of the Lulu line, I feel like the Small Lulu is the perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big. This can be worn crossbody, short shoulder, or long shoulder. I feel like if you go for the size medium, then it's a little bit too big for you to wear as a crossbody bag. This bag fits all of your everyday essentials. It's very soft and comfortable, and wear and tear on this is very, very little. I highly recommend this bag if you like this style. It is the perfect everyday bag in my opinion. What did you guys think about my neutral handbag collection? What is your favorite handbag in your neutral handbag collection? Please let us know down in the comments below. Speaking of comments below, I will have idle linked down below just in case you want to get something special for your mom for Mother's Day. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and before you run off, I'm going to have another video linked right here for you guys to check out next. Bye guys.